In today's video, I will be teaching you how you can perform strategies that the most skillful players use and be giving it a difficulty from easy to impossible. Before we start, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe, it's free and it helps a ton. If you get this variation on Hit Parade, you can use these bars to give you a little boost. This will take a bit of practice to master, but once you do, you will be speeding down the map. Also on Hit Parade, you can frame jump on the right side of the map to avoid being slowed down, and this can be much faster. This is a difficult strategy to master because the jumps have to be timed perfectly. On Freezy Peak, if you get the low gravity variation, jump once the hammer is facing up. After, you should be able to get yeeted far, and if you're lucky, you might even be able to get yeeted to the end of the map. This strategy is extremely luck-based, therefore it is difficult. On Big Fans, jump once the bar is about to hit you. After, dive mid-air to go flying. Spam your jump button over here and secure that first place. It looks easier that it looks so practice this in customs before trying in a multiplayer game. On Slime Climb, if you get the fan variation, jump dive on the fan. After doing so, prepare to jump on this moving object, and if done correctly, you should be able to skip two parts of the map. This strategy is insanely difficult, but if you manage to pull it off, you will be ahead of the crowd. Also on Slime Climb, you can jump on this invisible ledge to skip a small part on the map. On Party Promenade, you can jump on your friend's head, then jump on this pipe to skip this whole section. Head jumps can be quite challenging, so make sure to practice. Also, on Party Promenade, you can stand on the right side of the platform to get blasted by the balloon to skip this section. Then, dive on top of this pipe so that you can make your way closer to the finish line. Okay, this DoorDash one, this has got to be random, right? Kind of. What the what? am I looking at, bro? Kevin, what am I looking at here? He flew into the air! If you get this punching glove variation on Pipe Dream, jump on the edge of these little triangles to give you a boost. This bar can also give you a boost on Pipe Dream. On Speed Slider, jump on the edge of the slide and dive. With enough momentum and practice, you will be able to skip the whole entire map on Speed Slider. If this strategy gets patched or it's too hard to do, the next strategy is easy and still effective. On Speed Slider, Jump dive on the edges of the slime platform to gain a large amount of momentum. On Skyline Stumble, jump dive on the flinger as soon as it releases so you can get shot straight to the finish line. This strategy is all about timing. On Fall Mountain, you can use this obstacle combined with the low gravity to get an extreme boost. This can give you an unfair advantage and is extremely useful. This is the fastest and easiest route to take at the beginning of Treetop Tumble. Also on Treetop Tumble, jump dive on the right side of the slime slide, then the left side. This strategy will give you so much momentum, you will be able to skip about 34% of the entire map. On Whirly Gig, if you slowly walk facing the wall with one half of your body on the blue and the other side on the pink, you can let the bar hit you and you will respawn at the end of the map. On Hoop Shoot, before going into the portal at the end of the map, click your jump button and dive button at the same time so you can get an insane boost.
To get a fast start on track attack, dive right about here. By doing this, you will gain so much momentum that you can literally fly. 